Hi, good day. How are you doing again? I am Reverend Richard Steve Mitchell. Yes, I am here with Friends for Life Outreach Camp at the um, the conclusion rather of the Caribbean Swing Chin Picnic Celebration. Um, here July the 1st 2013 it I must say it was an awesome time hearing and seeing the performers as they presented their gift to the public and um, it is a phenomenal um, experience I do think and um, I would hope that if this um, continues next year you would be there to listen and to experience such individual as one that will be followed in um, this presentation is Dahlia yes she was just awesome on the stage she controlled she um, had the stage as if the stage were her own and she moved in a capacity that had the crowd just up in waves wanting more of Dahlia and Dahlia and um, it is my hope that you take um, much time and appreciation in this presentation again I'm out and I'm here at the um, the Caribbean swing brought to you by um, chin picnic um, the part of the promoter for um, the Caribbean swing was Jones and Jones um, promotion or production who um, is doing and bringing great 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 um, artists both internationally and locally and here we just exposing and bringing the local artists your way and I hope again that you do enjoy this great event you take care and be good to yourself. Bye for now. Well, I started my music career like at the age, out the age of 12, I started singing uh, in Sunday school, um, doing talent shows, pursued talent shows in high school. And once I followed up with my education, I came out as a solo artist after working with uh, the Sony record artist, DJ Ray. I came out on my own with my first EP, Open Your Eyes, mm -hmm. Open My Eyes, actually. And um, it's been great since then, like just working on my other EP, Broken Hearted, and working on my full length album to come out soon, and just promoting my music and doing shows around the city, out of town. And uh, number two. Wow. Have I ever lost interest in my music? I think at one point, at some point in life, everyone gets a point where you feel like you just want to give up. Um, maybe. Wow. You want to give up, right? You, that's just like a spirit. So you have that inner spirit, like, I, I can't do this anymore, or um, it's kind of rough. We all get that moment. But you know what? I wouldn't say I've lost interest. I would say I lost the spirit for the moment. But I picked myself up, and I continue to tread the road that I am on right now. And I'm loving to win Dahlia's music from the heart, from the fans, from the people. Have you ever um, considered to go um, full time in gospel? Gospel. I love gospel. I grew up in the church, actually. So I, I do gospel shows, and it's like going gospel full time. That's something I'm gonna think about. But I will be it, it's in my new, near future to do some gospel songs, some gospel. Who was your um, who is your fantasy? Not fantasy, but who is your idol that you would like to do a duet with? Itana. I love Itana. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Um, Itana. I would say Itana. Love to and why is that? Because I find that she sings, when she sings, you feel it. And it relates to the heart, connected to the music from the heart. And from the first time I heard her, her song, mm -hmm. I just play them over and over and over again. So I would say. Okay, so um, 
What would be your dream song title? I've made it. Okay, folks. Well, thank you, Dahlia. And um, it is my hope and our hope that it is will be made. <laughs> All right? So are you, are, are, on, on your album, you have a song called The Barrel or the Gun. The Ballot or the, the Bullet. The Ballot or the Bullet. Um, yes. Why did you basically um, did that one? Okay, that one uh, was like um, adapted from a Malcolm X speech. Mm -hmm. Malcolm X talked about the Ballot or the Bullet, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of just link it up with South Africa, with Nelson Mandela. So we know that... Um, Malcolm X was assassinated the same time Mandela was put into prison. Mm -hmm. So 27, 27 years after that, he was released and was by the by the ballot, you know, not by the bullet. You know. So is that one of your um, one of your um, passion? Whether people should mo be motivated to the ballot or if not then resort to yes, um, because the clerk was like you know it was not he wasn't a legit president mm -hmm. and you know the people want to get their legit you know so it's mainly that that um, thought is mainly on south africa apartheid south africa apartheid and mm -hmm. freedom and you know the people have the right to vote mm -hmm. it makes a big difference you know and you see it, uh, because, like I said, the clerk was just an uh, illegal guy <laughs> running the country. Mm -hmm. The people didn't vote for him, they, they didn't choose him. So, you know. So, what about, um, what's your opinion on the, the program today? Well, it was a good program, you know, all the different arts, with the dancers, and, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the different, different vibes, you know. It was good, it was a good vibe, I enjoy myself. Right. Yeah. So, um, what do you? What, when is your next um, performance? Will be happening? Well, um, uh, Rasta Fest, I might do a one song or two. Right. You know, see, the Masani, mm -hmm. see, Majestic Bar, a Warrior Band, and thing, you know. So, so yo, what me call you? <laughs> <What's it? laughs> Richard. 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 Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, due to the fact that this would be airing on my um, Richard Mitchell show, which is on Eglinton TV, mm -hmm. right? So, I have another other titles under which is faster, but this show that is um, Richard Mitchell show, mm -hmm. and it would be Gear Four. So, um, basically, we, um, that's why I use only Richard. So, Richard is good. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. So, um. Well, thank you for um, your sentiment. Yeah, man, it's a pleasure. It's a right. pleasure. Okay. It's a pleasure, Richard. You know, to uh, guide and protect. You know, His Majesty is the King of Kings, mm -hmm. the Lords of Lords. You know, conquer the land of the tribe of Judah, and elect of himself, first right to rule. Ja Rastafari. And and saying that, would you like to do just one verse of that um, ballad? Are Okay. Okay. You must make a decision, you must make a choice. You must make a decision, you must make a choice. South Africa make a decision, South Africa make a choice. Is it apartheid and destruction? Majority, you know, no respect, you don't know. So basically here we have um, one who's entitled Sugar Candy, yes, right? Sir. So I just, I'm going to be asking Sugar Candy what he thought of it this show today, and then I'll just follow up on that. Yeah, no, no, sir. I'm show. Yeah, 
Big up Majestic Warrior Band. Yeah, I'm a part of the Majestic Warrior Band. I'm the engineer, sound engineer, technician, DJ, thing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to big up Eglinton TV. This thing out. I don't know, it's the real thing. You understand? Yeah, I want to call. Listen. What I want? No more jobs done. What I want? No more done. No more innocent bloodshed friends. Politicians come down here and a beat up them go. Action done, now you not see where them come. Want no more jobs done, but I want no more guns. No more innocent bloodshed for us. Politicians come down here and a beat up them go. Election done, now you not see where them come. Mama wants to see that and she can't find a cent. Now they're off the road up on the upliftment. Long in and they get up your crime and violence. Man, I did like fly. They don't make no sense. So white color call yourself politician. Politician without ambition. Come in at the get to say you're up on a mission. But it infects the youth with the guns and ammunition. Keep for the rest of the rest of part three. So being that um, to the, uh, there was a part that tribute to Bob Marley. And you know Bob Marley, one of Bob Marley's songs, there won't be um, equal rights unless um, we start seeing individuals differently from the color of our skin and the color of our eyes. So uh, what do you say about Bob Marley today and his perspective? You know, Bob Marley passed and gone, but they get to live on. Uh -huh. Nobody can replace Bob Marley. You understand? Bob Marley gets a fight from the early years. Everybody see what Bob Marley did. You understand? But you know, reggae music live on. We're still here to see. And we just have to push it forward to the max. And just do our part. Understand? Almighty, big up. Alright, bless you. Eglinton TV, I bet.